Welcome back guys and today I'm going to explain you how do mining pools calculate part of your profits. And I'm going to do this on Zerg pool because I started mining on Zerg pool today to compare it against the nice hash. I'm mining on Zerg pool using awesome miner and automatically using auto switching algorithms. So how do those mining pools actually calculate part of your profits? They work on a completely different way than nice hash. On nice hash you get paid per your mega hashes. So you don't get paid when the pool finds shares, you automatically get paid for your hashing power. So the more hashing power you have, you will always get paid more. But on those pools, it also depends on luck. It depends on luck hugely in short term, but in longer term, the luck factor goes all down a lot and it averages out through the time. So on Zerg pool you have many different algorithms and many different coins on which you can mine. So for example, if you are interested in mining with something like NeoScript, you just click over here on the NeoScript and you will see a list over here of full coins that support NeoScript that you can mine using Zerg pool. So the coins that you can mine are Costly, Z Corstanum, Corzi, Lucky, Super Lumic and many other coins that you can see down here. And over here you can see how many blocks uh, this pool sold the last hour, in the last 24 hours, 7 days and 30 days. But the more blocks they sold doesn't actually mean this coin will be more profitable to mine. Because some coins could have block times of 1 minute and some coins could have block times of 100 minutes. And of course the pool has lower chance to solve a block if the coin has block time of 100 minutes. But also it depends on the amount of miners this coin has on the network. Because if coin has one miner, that this miner will get every single block reward. But if the coin has 100 miners, the chance that you personally will get this reward is 1 in 100. But if you connect to a pool like Zerg pool and Zerg pool has 50 out of 100 miners on the whole network, chance that Zerg pool will solve this block is 1. 50%. But it also depends of course on the hash rate that each miner has, but it averages out to about that. So when you see that on some coin there have been zero solved blocks in one hour, but on the other coin there have been five solved blocks in the last hour, that doesn't mean that this coin is more profitable. Because this block could be worth maybe a thousand dollars and this block could be maybe worth one dollar. So this, when you see 7 blocks sold in 24 hours, could be worth $7,000 and this could be worth $141. So, you cannot compare it like that. So, what do we have to do to see how much we actually get paid for our hashing power over here? You have to go to your own personal wallet on Zerg pool and just click over here on wallets and screen like this will open for you. You will see every single block that this pool solved and what was your participation in this solving. So for example, you can see that 9 minutes ago we solved Vertcoin block. And Vertcoin is on Lira 2 revision to algorithm and my total power for solving this block was 0.1%. So, uh, the amount of vertcoin that I earned is 0.02 vertcoin, which is equal to 702 satoshis. Over here it is written in millibitcoins, but 1 millibitcoin is 1000 part of a bitcoin. So when you see that you got 0.00702 millibitcoins, this is actually 702 satoshis. And this is about 7 cents right now, because 110 satoshis right now is 1 cent, so 702 satoshis right now is about 7 cents. So over here, by solving this vertical block, my part was 7 cents. But over here, 10 minutes ago, you can see that we sold block in Infinix, and my part over here was only 39 satoshis, and in this block right here, it was 19 satoshis. So you can see that in this minute, the total I earned was almost 50 satoshis, but over here I earned 702 satoshis. So the luck plays huge factor in how are you paid from the pool. 
For example, over here we got really lucky by solving the lock term or block, which has one block every two minutes, and every one of my GPUs that I connected to this pool got reward of between 141 to 182 satoshis. So I got a big part of this hashing power, so I got paid a lot. But if you don't get lucky for a longer periods of time, it can even last for up to like hour or two hours where, where you make only like few cents per few hours, which sounds insane, but it all averages out. For example, by mining Kingston on C11 algorithm, you can see that I was only getting paid like one Satoshi here, one Satoshi here, here, and in like span of five or six minutes, I only made five Satoshis, which is completely insane how low that is. But over here, like a few minutes later, you can see that I got paid 1000 Satoshis by our pool solving the Lactrum or block. And let's see where I was the most luckiest. For example, over here, I got paid 621 Satoshis for solving this. And the most, most luckiest I ever was, let, let's just scroll a little bit down to find it, was, where was it? Give it a second. It was, for example, over here on Verge, where I got paid 812 Satoshis. So, how do you actually find which coin should you mine to get paid the most? Now, there are many ways that you can do this, but every way will give you about the same results at the end, because it highly depends on the luck. Of course, you can mine some coin that has a huge, huge block rewards with so small amount of miners that if you solve this block in the next one minute, you might get paid $100 for one minute of your time, but that would take a lot of time to get so lucky but of course you can go and maybe try and do this and get really really lucky for example over here if we go to this coin here which is on Ksac C it only has one miner and of course that this miner will get every single block reward that this pool solves so if you want to join this solo miner on KSAC algorithm and if both of you solve this block and both of you have 50% of hashing power, you will share this reward 50-50. And you can see by clicking over here that uh, this is for creative coin. So you can see that this block gives you 21.005 creative coins for each solving of this block. So let's see how much could you earn by solving one block. So we will have to go to coin market cap and just search for creative coin. So you get 21 coins which each cost uh, 15 cents so that would be about three dollars. So you can make three dollars if you get lucky in the next like, minute or even in the next second. But if you don't want to depend on a lock and just join the most profitable coin, then you can search it on whattomine.com. But this can also be highly dependent on uh, different factors. Because for example, on whattomine.com for GTX 1060, it is showing me that I should mine Ethereum. But if I go to some other sites like Crypto Calculator over here on CryptoCoins.net, it is showing me that I should mine Verge with Lira 2 Revision 2 algorithm and that I would be making $2.07 per day. But over here I would be making $1.24. So those sites to show you which coin you should mine are not really reliable. They have huge differences and you just can't depend on them so much. So the best thing to do is maybe just leave algorithm auto switching to do its job and hopefully give you higher profits and we are going to see if it goes well in the next 24 hours because I will be doing like day one day two day three and each day I will show you the results of 24 hours of mining on Zurich pool compared to what I get on nice hash. and I know exactly what am I getting on nice hash, so I can compare it perfectly fine so hopefully I explained you a little bit better how the pools calculate your profits and how do they depend on luck and see you soon in another video. Bye.